The other four all bring a specific skill set. Hartman on second down with plenty of time in the pocket for a set of downs. Estime back in there instead. Oh, it's just devoured. Take it to Estime, swing it to the outside. Their tight end, Mitchell Evans, is spilled. And then they gave up some yards and points to Penn State. And then the last two games against Michigan and Georgia got exposed by giving up too many big plays. That's been their point of emphasis so far this season. Allowing 6.7 points per game through their first three. Thomas, the motion man, third and three. Hartman, through his progression, finds the soft spot. Right back to Evans for a first down. Just great poise in the pocket and no panic by Sam Hartman. You're going to see now his eyes, he's looking this way first. He's reading to the right of the formation, and it's one, two. Image with lots of bodies around him. He's very comfortable in the pocket. Hand off, and again. Time. Everything Sam Hartman's seen, he's already seen. And he delivers right on the money. Payne in there at running back, already the fourth running back we've seen on this opening possession. Great house in motion, handed to Payne, up the gut, and he's going to drag the pile for a first down. Yeah, they told us Jabron Payne is a guy who, you know, he, he does a little bit of everything, and they ask him to do a lot of unique things. And Wolves might even see him in a wildcat down by the goal line, just inside zone power football. Good push between already. Keeping everybody fresh. Now Hartman slowing it down, waiting for the right call. First and ten, back to the air. Hartman in trouble, spins away, gets it to Payne. Hartman steps up. Oh, oh my goodness! Wow! Mitchell Evans across his body. Hand it to him. Estimate. And he just can't find any space early on as Igben Osen comes up to make the play. Second and nine. Two tight ends in there for Notre Dame. And it's estimate following his blockers and picks up a couple experience. This is the game he was looking forward to. Merriweather in motion on third and six. Hartman, dump it. Payne makes one man miss and it explodes forward. It's going to be awfully close. Looks like he's about a half yard shy of the first down. Now decision time for Marcus Freeman. You got a great drive going. You want to be the team that scores first. It's only a four-man rush. Ohio State showed pressure and dropped out. And Hartman did a nice job finding. And he's 235 pounds. I'd run behind Big Joe Alt, the left tackle. Make it to him. Now Hartman's going to have to do it himself. Gets away from the first. Oh, he's got space to get there. And he does. Lowers the shoulder at the end. And Sam Hartman picks up the first down. Showing that toughness early. Well, credit Ohio State for not biting the play fake. They were in perfect position to defend both receivers. And Sam Hartman, who doesn't run a lot, does a nice job. They're going to try to slip two receivers out. Ohio State has both of them covered. And Hartman does the only thing he can on that. Now, he was a track star in high school, has great breakaway speed. That's why he's on the field. Hartman. Sets up the screen. Jaden Greathouse, who has had a fantastic freshman campaign. The catch and run of 12 yards picks up a first down. Beautiful job by Rocco Spindler, the right guard, getting out in front of this screen. Watch number 50 come and get the key block. Greathouse, they get his hands on the football. There's the block right there on the safety, Proctor. And that's why that play opened up. Number 50 shows rush, gets out there, gets a block, and Greathouse turns. Joe Alton, Blake Fisher one of the best offensive units in the country. Play action for Hartman. Dials it up again for Mitchell Evans. Affect him or make him uncomfortable. Couple of running backs, fake it to one, hand it to Love. Jimmy Shake into the secondary. The first points of the day. Hand it off on this first down. Second down and five. Fake it to Estime. Hartman steps up in the pocket and just overthrows Jaden Greathouse. Down play. Empty on third and five. Here come the linebacker. Hartman feels it. Fade away. Oh, no. Level to start this game. That's It'll good. go from the one-yard line. Yeah, that's the good news for Ohio State. They totally flipped the field, the worst starting field position for either team right now. And Hartman's just going to try to get a little breathing room on the QB sneak and does exactly that. Picks up two. Field. And I still think it's going to be a pass here. Second and seven. It is a run for Estimate. 
And Estime looking to break away. First down and more across the 20, all the way to the 25. He said he prides himself in not going down after the first two. Picks up 22. Well, beautiful job by the other back. Watch. Right there, watch Payne with the lead block. He's the guy that's going to set this up. Watch him take on the middle linebacker right there, Cody Simon. And then again, when Payne gets those shoulders running back. Has to be nearly six foot, about 230 pounds. Back to the ground. This time it's Devin Ford. And keeps the footing just long enough. Go right back to the ground. This time Jeremiah Love runs into a wall. Sent backward by Lathan Ransom. Now this is a welcome to big time football. Jeremiah Love got to run. Each other healthy smack as well. Third and three. Hartman finally to the air. Lofts it incomplete. Heavy. Got to get some big time plays, some chunk plays to get things revved up. Estimate the first down carry. Can they get him going as well? Hartman with time. Steps up. It's Evans. And a new career high for Mitchell Evans. Five receptions. This one goes for a first down. Yeah, we kind of thought it was Holden Stays was the receiving threat at tight end. Already with four touchdown catches. This is Joe Alt. Nice job with him and the left guard just kind of doing an ex but well, Aiken Oson gets away with it, and it's second and ten after good coverage. Estime into the second level and across midfield. Well, let's take a look from above, brought to you by Walmart. Take a look at this. Now, watch Estime as he gets to this point. Watch the quickness in the hole. This is a 240-pound back. Foot in the ground, lateral cut, and then turns on the speed of the outside. You don't see the small guy. And we saw it right there. First down and 10. Jeremiah Love around the outside. And a burst of speed across the 45. Four games of the year. Estimate. Patient. A little too patient. Who would be the go-to guy for Hartman? Estimate the handoff. Keeps the legs churning. Go back sneak. Hartman around the outside. Oh, he gets pushed back. That's going to be a stop on fourth down. Styles and Rose. Now can Notre Dame respond? Down 10 0. Merriweather in motion. And the first down handoff goes to Darian Price. A nice tackle right there by Michael Hall Jr. We talked about him. He's not the biggest interior defensive line, but, but he is extremely quick off the ball. Good first step. He uses his quickness, can be very disruptive in the run and the pass. A vocal leader now in his junior season. And off, love. Love across the 40 and a first down. Love has had a productive day as he gained 16 on the ground. Well, it's only 10 points, so you don't have to abandon the run. You can stick to what you do. You got two backs in. Another nice lead block in there by Devin Ford, number 22. And Love looking at protecting that football. Young back protecting that football with him. And back in motion. Now Hartman to the air. Hartman feeling the pressure, just dirts it in the direction of Price as Tyleek Williams applied some major pressure. Well, this is just good coverage, all right? They only rushed four, and Sam Hartman had to hold the ball a long time. Here's Ty Leak. He's going to come on an outside stunt. But there's enough time to throw the football if somebody's open. No one was open. Presence of Sam Hartman is what they've talked about within the Notre Dame facility. Hand off. And a nice gain on the outside to Dorian Price across midfield into Ohio State territory and spilled out across the 40. Well, nice run by Price, but also take a look at the block by Jaden Thomas on the outside. You get the block by the tight end, Mitchell Evans, and there's Jaden Thomas, 83. Love. Just so quick to get through the line of scrimmage. Picks up three as Chambers and Williams combine on the stop. 
A nice power play. This is a power run. They pull the backside guard. Nice block by Pat Coogan, the left guard. Watch Coogan right here, kind of pull and lead up through here. This is blue collar, hard nose football. I mean, <laughs> we talked about and, and on his feet. Take it to one side, pitch it to the other. Love looking to set up his blockers and can't escape. And the game turned when he had to leave the game. Eventually, Ohio State would fall by one point, just short of the college football playoff final. Just before the play clock, Hartman, and another completion. This one goes to the freshman, Rico Flores, and it's going to be enough for the first down. Yeah. Payne. Big hole up the middle, and he's propelled forward by JT Tuimoloau. Well, this is great blocking again, left side. You've got the left tackle and the left guard. And it's just going right at the heart of this Ohio State defense. And the back goes right between those blocks. you got the tight end. Get into the net. Throw the football if you want to go play action. They will run it with Payne. Sets up the blockers and it's spun down just shy of the... Payne puts the nose down and it looks like he's got it. What a tough run. I mean, this is a hard nose run by Jabron Payne. He's just going to take it right up in here. He knows he's going to get smacked in there. Nice cutoff block by the tight end, Mitchell Evans. He cuts off Jack Sawyer from the backside. And Payne just takes that in there. Again, running between. He was inside the red zone. Uh, 51 yards rushing on this drive. Only 50 in the whole first half for Notre Dame. Price has the pill. Up the gut and just shy of the 15. Dumped it. Hartman over the middle. It's caught. First down and more. And Merriweather is down to the one. Expected to take a huge leap as a sophomore. Had a massive catch last week. And here's a big conversion down here, near the goal line. Here's Merriweather. Watch him just find the soft spot in the defense. It's a zone defense. They dropped the defensive end. He found the nice. Hartman is out here. Hartman's out here. Payne will take the snap on first and goal. Direct snap. Payne up the middle. Stopped initially. But kept fighting for the touchdown. Jabron Payne, no helmet, no problem. Initially stopped when we've already talked about Jabron Payne. He does a little bit of everything. Watch him here, just second effort. Keeps the legs moving, keeps driving. Also gets a block by the guard, Pat Coogan pushing his man that opened up a little bit of a crease for Payne to fight through there. Ball gets over the plane and a touchdown for Notre Dame. And it certainly feels like we're in for a fantastic finish tonight. Great house in motion. They give it to him on that jet sweep and he will pick up three. He wants to play to win and he's got a savvy veteran quarterback that he trusts. Hartman looking around, lofts it. Great house is right there for a big gain. Cuts it back and is devoured at the 35. Igbenosin and Proctor combine on the tackle, but Hartman finally goes for 28 to the freshman. This fooled the Ohio State defense. This was, it was a fake wide receiver screen both ways, and then the middle opened wide up. Ohio State went to both sides to the end zone. Put a man in motion. And the crowd not happy that is the substitution rule that Ohio State's allowed to match the substitution from Notre Dame. Hand it off. Estime, who's been incredibly quiet in this second half, and again gets bottled up at the line of scrimmage. Well, and there's no room to dance. You know, you just have to hit it fast and hit it hard. And if you can only get three yards, you only get three yards. But this is a rugged Ohio State defense. Tommy Eichenberg, the leading tackler, is going to be there along with JT. Second and 10 for Hartman. Dials it up. Rainbow delivery. Incomplete. In the decision for a pass interference or not. And it looks like the officials didn't see enough to get the laundry on the field. So it's third down and 10. Hartman. Delivered. Wow. Good play. Another spectacular grab from Evans. But right now he's proving 
all that experience is coming in incredible handy. Hand it off. Up the gut. And that's what Estime has to do. Evans in motion again. He has had himself a day. Six catches, 70 yards. Right back to the ground. Estime keeps fighting, and he's going to get the first down. Ty Hamilton stops him in his tracks, but now Notre Dame. Hartman. Uncorks. Down the sideline. Flag is down. Ford and Love both in the backfield. Hand it off to Love. And another burst across the 15 for the freshman. This two-back set has been effective. And I'll tell you what, these backs blocking for each other. Watch Devin Ford, number 22, stick his nose right up in there. Steel Chambers meets him in the hole. But that's good for... Right back to Love. And he wiggles through across the 10. Pyle continues to move inside the 5. And it's first and goal. Well, Ohio State took a risk there. They tried to bring pressure. The problem was they brought pressure opposite side of the run. They brought pressure here, and the run bounces out this way, and there's not enough defenders there. And it's a well-timed call and an easy first step. Going to go in and take their first lead of the night. Estimate. Continues to fight down to the two. Second and goal. Hartman going to the air. Looking end zone. Wide open. Estime. Estime a big hole. And continues to drag tacklers for a first down. Well, again, 125 yards rushing in the second half. Now for this Notre Dame offense. It's just power football. Going right at him. Blake Fisher. Oh, there's not incomplete passes. They're running the football and making first downs. Hartman's going to keep. Probably the wrong decision. Spun down by Tui Molalau. And that's the kind of play Ohio State needed. A negative yardage play. Because Notre Dame is... They're going to go to the air with Hartman. And Whoa, it was nearly picked off. We saw Tui Molalau do that time and time again against Penn State a year ago. Yep. Back-to-back -back plays. He's been pretty quiet. Here he is. He's going to read the screen and get out in the throw lane. And that was so close. Would have been the first interception of the season. Don't get greedy on this third and long. And they'll run it with pain. Dances across the 30. And to the 32.